Why are we meeting a butcher in a winya? You go nigh a Darug Norawa. Hello, friend. Good to see you today. I'm on Darug Country, and I'm down here at Easter Creek for the Sydney Four Wheel Driving Adventure Show. And hopefully, it won't be a massive video, but I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a look through. Uh, it's quarter to nine at the moment, and we're packed up in the line, waiting to get in. So, and actually brought the missus along. Alright, see so you when we get inside. Villian and his auto fix. Hey Trev, how are you? Hey, mate? Mate, how you going? <laughs> Just thought I'd pop in and say a quick howdy. Howdy. <laughs> and welcome. Cheers, mate. How are you going? Has had a few people having a look yet or what? No, not this morning. I've had one good talk, but yesterday was a good day. Yeah. I know you've had a bit of wet weather yesterday morning too. We don't feel it in here so much. Like yeah. last year, we had really torrential rain, but not in here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're nice and sheltered, isn't you? Good. It's good. So Trev does a little product called Autofix. Trev. I'll break them all on him. <laughs> Got it. So tell the viewers quickly, mate, what are they? Alright, so we we sell um, ABD2 scanners for it's a piece of recovery gear, emergency gear. If you get an engine light or a loop mode. These give you the ability of actually diagnosing your vehicle, seeing what's wrong with your vehicle. Hundreds of people each year end up on a tow truck because they've got an engine light. They weren't sure what it was. It could have been a map sensor, an O2 sensor, something simple. This will actually tell you what the problem is. Yeah, nice. So, um, in the middle of Simpson Desert and you get a lip mode or, a, um, or an engine light, this will it'll clear it. Also helps with diagnosing because it'll tell you what's wrong. You can tell your mechanic. Yeah, nice. Um, for the Gen 3 Pajeros, they don't take OBD2, do you do something that suits them? So anything from 2006-2007, um, compliance in Australia for OBD2 started 2006 for petrol, 2007 for diesel. So yeah, right anything on. after that's pretty right. Yeah. So the Gen, th Gen 3 Pajero's lucky up. <laughs> yep, it's all good. Yeah. So it would have come in handy when I was out at Lisco uh, a couple of years ago and I threw my time in. It would have told me probably straight away what was going Tell on. Tell you what it is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I sold my Prado this week and um, I got an engine light during the week. It was only a glitch, uh, but I was able to put the scanner in. Find out what's going on. Yeah, never come back. Yeah, so, nice. Which nice. is kind of cool. So, um, important part of our gear, our, our Toyota scanner is our number one seller. That's because um, Toyota's a crap. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh, there are. And we do our own packaging now. All of our scanners are lifetime replacement warranty, all with software upgrades yep. um, and phone support, which is really important. You get an Aussie on the phone, how you going, how can I help you? Yeah, nice. Well, if you're coming down here, or well, by the time you see this, it'll be all over, but yeah, check out Dirt Road 4x4, Dirt, Dirt Road 4x4, yeah, is Auto it? Fix Australia. Yeah, and Auto Fix Australia, and check out the products. Uh, I'm going to keep moving. Alrighty guys, I'm down here with Tony Crook from GME. You all know this mug, surely. And he's going to give us a look at the new Bluetooth system for the XRS radios. G'day, we just released what we call the XRS BT1. So if you've got an XRS radio or you're thinking about getting one, you can now buy a small module that plugs into the front of the radio, gives you full Bluetooth audio capability and also wireless push to talk. So you can mount a small button on your steering wheel, you've got a pillar mount microphone up on the A pillar and you've got hands free communication so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel while you're talking. And then you also don't have that issue that you're holding something when you might go through a mobile speed camera or something or you know coppers don't want to try and pull you up for using your phone when it's actually your radio. That's right and the other thing about this module is because it's got Bluetooth audio in it you can connect your AirPods, you can connect it to your car stereo and it just gives you a lot of different ways to connect your radio. Yeah, nice. And having the AirPods would you actually be able to use it outside the vehicle? Been, that's exactly that's right. So I've been doing some testing on this for a couple of months. Have an AirPod in your ear, you get out of the car yeah. to check on something, go to the toilet, and you can still hear what's going on in the UHF in your car. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. 
All right, yeah. thanks for that, mate. Cheers, mate. And good to finally meet you. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> All right, I'll get back to enjoying the show. If you want to win a rock yeah. or a buggy idea, if you're not going to get any of the guys, not going to reverse, things like that. Scan the QR code, grab We've got to get up all these different lines. This part will be yours. Ultimate Rock Roll is thrown in a free entry for one of the rounds next year as well. So, yeah. Scan the QR code, grab an entry, and uh, good luck. The winners roll tomorrow. Find the roll, don't you worry. Beautiful. That's exactly that, guys. You can take no, that you car home. Drive. Now, if you do, or even if you don't win it, and you're just interested in anything, any way, any one of these people that have a vest on, race suit, ask them a question. We're an open book. We love this sport. We love talking about it. If anyone has a cool question oh, out there, no. I'd never know, take my badge on the ground. Rest of the ground, I'd never take my badge on the myself. Probably the coolest part about that car is that it's an 8.4 big Sorry, block V8. That is the big dog. Big, cranky, talky, heavy. <laughs> because you can, not because you need it. That's right, Glenn. Because you can. Because you can. Now, yeah, just because it's got a big block doesn't mean it misses out on the rest of the parts. We've got an Atlas transfer case, Dyna 60 axles, front and rear, obviously rear steer. Four link front and rear, and some ORI. I don't know why they're using Rangers. They're going to need the Pajeros to recover them now. That's where our tax dollars are going on overpriced land cruisers. using our shovel and we'll clear the sand out from in front of the wheels. This, um, this will allow yeah, still do all the vehicle other things before you even worry about that. have a rig to drive out on. As you can see the guys have got the shovel, they're gonna dig a nice little ramp in the front of the fire. And that was definitely in the direction they were looking at. Not bad, mate. Look at the mugs you find down here. I know. <laughs> yeah, they let anyone in here. Yeah, bloody right. Well, they let me in here, right? Eh? <laughs> 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 ah, good to find a meet, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, for those that don't know, this is the infamous Shad Donahue. Go check out his channel. <laughs> and here we have Ronnie Dahl's Troopy. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy that. Oh, I will when I get a chance to drive them, bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> Delicate of the world. Don't know who this belongs to, but I love delicates, as you all know. essentially standing upright on the firewall itself. So we want to come from a right folks, as I did mention, free of charge, all thanks to us, Susan Good Australia. Pop it's not a rude question, there's plenty of space in the back here. I'm probably just under six. 
foot. Yeah, so, yeah. There you go, let's see if I shit myself on this. <laughs> the D-Max Iron Mountain. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> okay, so it's going to pop it into four-wheel drive low range here. Yep. Everyone got a seatbelt on? Yep. Yeah, Excellent. So 45 degrees up, 45 degrees down. This is going to be fun. So pop it into first gear. Here we go. Oh, ah. That don't feel good, I tell you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, now it's not too bad. That's right, so we level out for a little while. Yeah. Get pivots right in the centre. Yep. So as we tilt it over, we'll get the same 45 degrees so on the way down. you're looking for this pole about the shoulder, are you? Is that about the Sort balance? of. The pole's marked the centre of the ramp, so yeah. we can yeah, sort of here we go back down. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is gunshot, eh? Here we go. Probably a little bit more. There we go. Now you can see the lean on the door trim there compared to everything else. And we can pop a little water center screen so it's fairly steep <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally standing upright here yeah. <laughs> bloody hell yeah. YouTube don't have a go at me about the music <laughs> what the f <laughs> that was wicked that was bloody wicked well guys, that's it for us. We're going to head out. We've seen what we wanted. To be honest, I don't think it was as good as last year. Um, a lot more caravans and camper vans and stuff like that. Taking up a lot of space. Not as many stalls and whatnot as last year. So, yeah, we're heading out of here. But, hey, look, it was good to meet a few people and have a bit of a yarn. Get a bit of info on the new JME Bluetooth products. And, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yaman Buji de Murugu. Yano. Walk a good path. Goodbye. Not just the wheels, you need to avoid the cone. It's every part of the vehicle. Even the navvies. The navvies step on that cone, that's a penalty. That's right.